Hello, Brian with Indoor Air. I've been installing April air humidifiers for over 20 years. People always ask me, how can I get it to work better? My house is still dry. What do I need to do? The number one thing you need to do is you've got a water panel inside of all the April air humidifiers. You've got to replace that panel once a year. You want to use original April air parts. Don't go for anything generic or anything else. We carry these on our truck. It's pretty affordable to do. Next up is you've got a humidistat. Most of the time, these uh, are mounted in the ductwork. Sometimes they're mounted up near the thermostat. It's a very simple uh, device. It, you can set it for what percentage humidity you want. It's got a little chart on here that tells you when outside temperature is. It should be set to this. So let's say you don't want to adjust it all the time. Go downstairs in your basement. have to say, okay, you know what, today's 40, so I can crank it up to 45%. Tomorrow's going to be 20, so i got to turn it back down. April Air's got that covered with their automatic sensing humidistat. So it's got an outside sensor that checks the outside temperature. You set it, it'll adjust it for you. So if one day it's 40, the next day it's minus 5, it'll turn down that humidity for you and make it simple. So it's got an LED uh, readout. It shows you what the percentage of humidity in your house is. This mounts down in the basement, but it's pretty much a a touch and leave it alone. The outside sensor does all the, the finite uh, adjustments for you. Next would be to go with the April Air digital thermostat that not only is a digital touchscreen thermostat, programmable, everything else, you can control your humidifier right from here and it also has an outside sensor that gets wired in so it can, it can save the humidity from building up in the windows and, and be an auto uh, correcting humidistat to outside temperature. So either way you go. You can go with the digital touchscreen thermostat, which is a great option. You can go with the digital humidistat that mounts downstairs. Now the cool thing about this is if we pipe the, the hot water to your humidifier, it'll actually turn on the fan if the furnace hasn't run for a few hours. It'll turn on the fan, let it run for three minutes. If the house is dry, it'll turn on the blower on the furnace, turn on your humidifier, add humidity, even if the furnace isn't running. So that's a, that's a really great thing. But the number one key here is the humidifier patch. You've got to keep these things clean, change them once a year. They're not that expensive. Don't try and wash them. Don't go cheap. Don't get a generic brand. If you get them online, get the, the they should look like this. Um, we carry these on my truck uh, all the time. So whatever you need, uh, we'll get your humidifier running right. Thanks.